Let us know you're enjoying the show. Give us some feedback. This is Poison TV, and we'll see you in a couple of minutes. Okay, guys, we're back for the final. Well, I say the final game. It could be that not. It could be we could have a whole. We could have a reverse all kill right now. Um, but uh, anyway, let's introduce our two players first before we start yapping on in, up here playing for Team XT. We have Acidic, and of course up down here in the bottom left hand corner, currently 3-0 up for KLG with some amazing plays, some real fun, fun games is the best way to describe it. We have none other than Jim Rising. 
<laughs> okay. So anyway, yeah. Jim Rising is currently three up, and we have a PVZ now. Acidic is definitely looking to burn his way through the best of seven because he's got a little bit of work ahead of him now. And um, uh, I'm looking at this pylon, and I'm thinking there's something a little bit odd about the way it's placed. I mean, it it just feels a little bit close to the ramp here, and Okay, so, um, okay, so I'll find out what he's about to do with this. Gateway is going to be coming down. Is he just going to, can he just fall off? Does he know something I don't? You'd miss me. Let's have a look. Ah. Okay, so I think he realizes what's going on now. Um, <laughs> Jim Rising's going to go in and probably find that, oh, he can get in that way, can he? Do he put a side by the other side? I'm not quite sure. If you have seen a wall like this before, then press 1 on your telephone right now um, and it goes hello to Foster our Canadian Canadian bacon eating friend he is uh, one of the managers from local girlfriend so hello to him check out their team they're fantastic and of course everyone else who's in the channel big thank you to you guys so anyway going back to the point we have a gateway expand and um, yeah this, let's let, let's see how uh, Jim Rising handles this so far he's gone muter 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 and uh, wouldn't be surprised if we, you know, saw a, a theme going on there. Um, <coughs> now we did see a 14 gas come down. No sign of a 17 gas. So maybe just a one gate FB. Could be even be a straight up four gate. But no sign of any Chronoboost being saved. And yeah, this is a very odd war. I think Acidic realizes that of his slight error here. Um, it's also about just a little bit of a tip, not relating to this matchup, but ZVT, don't ever build your command center on the high ground, or don't build your CC first on the high ground. Um, if you want to know why, then you only need to watch the Muslim in the WCS Challenger bracket when he got 2 0 by Suppy with a 6 ball. So, um, yeah, that is why you don't do it. And I think you can almost do it with this kind of similar wall off here. Now the Nexus is going down on the low ground and uh, Jim Rising, he's got a spying crawler coming down, playing very safe, very defensively. We have uh, Walkgate Tech coming down as well and uh, we're shortly to see the uh, tech path that will be coming out of Acidic. He's only on one gas and I'm smelling gateway aggression. There we go, there's the second gas but for any kind of like Stargate play, <coughs> it's slightly late. So kind of good to see we will be seeing some form of gateway aggression. Um, you see one gateway coming down, count with me as we see the next gateway, there we go, second gateway coming down, go on, be brave, show me, there we go, three gateways coming down, will we see the fourth gateway coming down, will we, or will it be a pylon, I think it might be a pylon, there we go, it's going to be a pylon, so it's going to be three gateways with a tech flavour, um, there we go, there we go, probe just sitting in quite comfortably, and things are progressing on quite nicely. We have two gases coming down for Jim Rising. Queen's just injecting all things yummy. And another queen actually, so four queen openings, so really going to be aggressively spreading that creep towards that third. And the way he is suggesting that with this creep trim, it does look like he may actually be going, I say, we'll be going for that third, not a two base aggression. Don't really see two base aggression these days um, from, well, not that often, I say. Um, kind of always seems to favour that three base play, um, four base, you know, long macro games. Long macro games, you know, that was what that's what makes you cool and non cheesy. Um, <laughs> anyhow, we have a Stargate coming down, and uh, Warpgate is about to finish. Uh, will it be an Oracle or a Void Ray? We're soon to see. We've got double Evo Chamber as well coming in, and also we have. What else do we have? We have uh, also, um, yeah, just a uh, queen of goodness. Now, I've just been informed that this is a standard build, this Oracle 3 gate pressure. Um, we also have, look at this, we have a pylon. Pylon's actually in some very cool little places here. Um, so, uh, I guess this uh, this translates into kind of uh, the Oracle come in, do some damage to, of course, the. Uh, <coughs> We'll go, yeah, go in and try and kill off some drones. Now, we see a Ling heavy style coming out, a Lenok esque play from Jim Rising, which 
eventually leads, which eventually leads to ultralisks. Um, whether he gets that far, we will soon find out. You also have a macro hatch coming down for Jim Rising. Very interesting play, and also a huge amount of zerglings right now. And oh my goodness me, look at this. Zealots with an oracle are going to do absolutely fantastic. Anyway, uh, Queen's actually they're going to town on this oracle, and actually he's handling this quite well. And Acidic is, um, well, he's proving to be bad. Acidic is lemon juice right now as he runs away from the mass zergling across the map. Um, we have another oracle which are really good at actually killing zerglings because obviously they do a uh, huge amount of bonus damage to uh, light units. Um, we see Jim Rising trying to focus in on this third forge coming down, but there is a sentry going to be blocking it and just throw in a force field as well. Um, but there are, is there any more units here? Ah, there we go. More units on the way. Zella is going to be joining into that wall, but that is a lot of zerglings. 1-1 one, one is about to finish here. Will these gateways go down? I think he's going to have to actually um, drop a few force fields here, otherwise he is in actually danger of losing this. Uh, did he do the recall? There we go, he did use the recall. So he forces um, Acidic back right now. We have a Void Ray also coming back, which will be used to clear out all these overlords, just using this base as a parking slot right now. And uh, yeah, this macro hatch, it, 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 it interests me. Because obviously, usually we see it for a third, but this time, no, he's uh, <coughs> using it for defensive purposes. I guess maybe because of the rock that he's gone for this option. Third is finally being dropped down the infestation pit to line up for the do 2 as well. Um, well, actually, the hive, then the two two, and now we have a hydralisk then, which um, as you can see, uh, we have uh, acidic going towards this kind of uh, stargate style, a stargate esque style, and of course, Ling Hydra is actually very very effective. We have players like Demarco who use this very very often, and you can, if you want a vod of that, you can check that out on our YouTube page. Sorry, just got my microphone there. Anyway, Oracle is coming in, can kill off this queen. Uh, Oh my goodness, me, clutch transfusion that more zealots are coming on in. Uh, 38 zerglings in production. Very, very exciting, heavy style. But these zealots are actually going to clean up these before any zergling actually gets in. But look at this, in the main, we have a huge run by probes are running on back. And this main <coughs> natural ship, I think, is going to get killed off. And he's actually going to clean up the third as well, which is going to put him in a phenomenal position. Plus one isn't even going to finish. And wow, the zerglings are everywhere. And Astinic is in a world of hurt right now. We still have this one Void Ray tickling away at this third, but there's so many zerglings in the main of Acidic. If it comes down to a base trade, it really does look like it is going to be going in the favour of Jim Rising. We have another Void Ray kind of joining the fray, but the tech is slowly but surely dying away, desperately trying to make something happen, but he's only got Phoenixes and this one lone Void Ray with a mothership right now. I think the Queen may be actually hold this little uh, state trade scenario. One more hit on top of the. There we go. Top of the Void Ray and the Queen, and we see a GG. And that means that Jim Rising in this week's SCA Ascension Team League on Friday night has got another all kill. So this is the fourth all kill I've seen this week, guys. And very well played to KLG. Um, it was a pleasure catching you guys, and <coughs> I'm just going to stay tuned because we may actually have Quantic game for you next, but I don't think it's going to happen, unfortunately, um, looking at my chat logs. Anyway, there we go. There's the GG's, and uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you for staying up for us. That was short and sweet. Um, we will be back as much as humanly possible uh, for you. And I, I'm just slurring my words now. Probably half of what I say doesn't make any sense whatsoever. My production manager is just laughing at me in the background as I sound like I've been drinking some form of alcoholic beverage. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> so, anyway, going back to what we're saying, if you have enjoyed the show, please click the follow button. Um, show us your support. Um, uh, we enjoy bringing you great content, and uh, you know we need your we need your support to carry on doing it. Uh, we have some more, and we have some announcements for you shortly. But our, as for our regular content, you can check that out at www.youtube.com forward slash poison tvde. You can check me out at, at djw uh, sc2. Um, you can follow my production manager. Uh, he will be pasting his his in the chat because I don't know it off by heart.